Hello students, I am Sunil Ranjan. I am an English teacher. In this session now, I have come up with Bew Tips by Oliver Goldsmith. Well, Oliver Goldsmith was a great poet and his prose has astonishing range and volume. Among his works of prose, The Citizen of the World, that was published in 1750, is a series of imaginary letters from a philosophical China man, writing letters home from London, giving Goldsmith the opportunity of expressing his own mind upon the society and literature of the day. The series was contributed to The Public Ledger, a popular magazine. He wrote many essays on personal and impersonal objects. The essays of Goldsmith are characterized by whimsicality, satire, mild humor, and graceful charm. As an essayist, Goldsmith is superb. His essays are satirical reflections upon the society of his times. He criticizes manners and ideas in England with satire. He makes the note of didacticism with an aim to reform the society from its evils and teach the people the sound lessons in morality. Goldsmith prose style is clear, transparent and delicate. His style has reflections of remarkable intelligence. His essays reveal an extraordinary power, boldness and originality of thought. In this respect, he is superior to Addison or any other of the periodical essayists. His minute observation of man and human nature is remarkable. The characterizations of the man in black and beautips are noticeable for minute observation. His essay, Beautips, is a fine example of his art of characterization. Goldsmith essays are also striking for the humor. Everybody feels the humor of Beautips and the man in black. According to Rickett, Goldsmith was a poet of talent and a prose man of distinctive and original genius. The essay Beautips has been taken from the citizen of the world. The words Beautips means a showy man who is careful about his dress and appearance. In it, he has been presented as a poor, foolish and unknown man. Even then he pretends to be a friend of great persons. Now, the heading is Beautips and the English Nobility. Now, under this, I would like to begin. Goldsmith apparently felt that the English nobility had degenerated since the time of Pope. The English noblemen who had once been the patrons and exponents of learning lacked the same during Goldsmith's time. Beautips, as his companion describes, has no claims from his own merit to distinction. He is possessed neither of abilities nor virtue. It is enough for him that one of his ancestors was possessed of these qualities. We cannot call Beautips an attractive man. Though he is young, he has no charm in him. He is pale thin and sharp. His dress is peculiar like his appearance. His hat was pinched up with peculiar smartness. He wore by his side a sword with a black hilt. Tips is a gentleman of name only, possessing only a physical appearance of English noblemen. Now the next heading is a satirical character. And now I begin. Beautips represents a satirical view of the contemporary English nobility. 
Goldsmith believed that his age had witnessed a considerable decline in contemporary aristocratic manners and taste. Beautips is a character originating in a lower level of society. To use this character as a mirror reflecting in an exaggerated manner the affectations of the aristocrats comes up as a brilliant satire. Beautips is more than mere satire. However, against the aristocracy, he represents the corruption in taste and fashion of the entire middle class. Now the next heading is his pretense to hate flattery. Now I move on. Beautips is perfect in the art of flattery, but he says that he does not like it. The man in black compliments on his fine clothes and health. In reply he says, you know, I hate flattery on my soul, I do. Now the next heading is, his pretense to hate great persons. Now I move ahead. Beautips tells that he is friendly with Lord Muffler, Lady Grogram and the Duchess of Piccadilly. Yet he says that he hates great persons. He says to the man in black, I despise the great as much as you do. He speaks with great pride that he dined with the Duchess of Piccadilly. At her house he met Lord Muller. The Lord talked to him about his girlfriends. Tib says, that Lord Muller has promised him an income of £5,000 a year. He says that he dined with Lady Grogram. And the next heading is his show of forgetting things. He makes a show of forgetting things. He wants a loan of half a crown from the man in black. He promises to return after a minute or two or so. He tries to get money from others by pleasing them with his talks. He neither returns it nor does he ever think of it. And the last point, that is the conclusion. And here I say, thus it can be said that Beautips is a satirical character. By portraying the character of Beautips, Goldsmith tries to make an attempt to represent the reality of the time of degeneracy of English nobility. Beautips possesses a trivial personality who does not make a good impression. He is a liar and is not trustworthy. So here I come to the end. I hope students you understood this lesson very well. And if you have subscribed to my channel, well, it's okay. If you haven't, I'll suggest you to subscribe to my channel so that you are able to get a lot more in the days to come. Thank you.